Hi, welcome back. In this short video, I will show you how to find out the shear force and bending moment diagram of a simple supported beam having a point load applied at the center of this beam. We will find out the equation for the shear force and equation for the bending moment for the different portion of this beam and after that we will put different values in these equations and we will find out the shear force and bending moment diagram of this beam. Let's first of all find out the reaction at support A. So the reaction at support A will be equal to the applied load is W. The distance of this load from another support is L by 2 divided by distance between the support is L. The reaction at A will be equal to L will be cancelled with L. Reaction at A is equal to W by 2. Similarly to find out the reaction at B that will be equal to the applied load is W and distance of this load from another support is L by 2 divide by distance between the support is L. Reaction at B will be equal to L will be cancelled with L W divided by 2. After finding out the reaction of this beam, we are going to find out the equation for the shear force and equation for the bending moment. For the different portion of this beam, for that consider a portion of this beam at a distance x from this support and we have this section that is 1 1 and draw this beam separately here at the free end it will result a shear force and a bending moment that is m consider the equilibrium of this beam we will use the equilibrium equation summation of f of y is equal to zero consider the upward force is positive and the downward force is negative the upward force is w divided by 2 and the only downward force is w that is shear force at the free end the algebraic sum of all these forces will be equal to 0. Separate P from this equation, V will be equal to W divided by 2. Now find out the moment that is M. Take the summation of moment at the free end is equal to 0. One force at a distance X will produce a clockwise moment at the free end that is W divided by 2 multiplied by X and take the clockwise moment positive and anti-clockwise moment is a negative. And the only applied moment at the free end is anticlockwise that is m so take it as a negative the algebraic sum of all these moments will be equal to zero separate m from this equation we will get w divided by 2 into x we got these two equation one is v is equal to w divided by 2 and for the moment we got the equation w divided by 2 into x these two moments equation will be valid from zero to L by 2. Similarly, take another section at a distance x from the left support and consider it is a section 2 2 and redraw the beam again. We already know that this distance is L by 2. This distance will be equal to x minus L divided by 2. Apply equation to this beam summation of vertical forces is equal to 0. One vertical force is W divided by 2 that is applied upward take as a positive and another force that is W that is acting on this beam as a downward force and at the free end it will resist that is minus V and it is downward so take it as a negative. The algebraic summation of all these forces will be equal to 0. Separate V from this equation that will be equal to W by 2 minus W. Take 2 is a LCM W minus 2 W and we will get shear force minus W divided by 2. Now we are going to find out this moment. So take the algebraic summation of all the moments acting at a free end equal to 0. That is summation of the moment at a free end equal to 0. Consider a clockwise moment positive and anti-clockwise moment as a negative. So one force is W by 2 and the moment arm with this force is X and it's producing a clockwise moment so take it as a positive. W divided by 2 is a force and X is a moment arm. One force is W and, and this force is acting at a distance of X minus L divided by 2. So, so it produces a negative moment so take it as a negative. W is a force and 2 x minus l divided by 2 is a moment arm so the algebraic summation of all these moments will be equal to 0 but 
we have left one moment that is acting at the free end as anti clockwise so minus m and the algebraic summation of all these moments will be equal to 0 separate m from this equation we will get w divided by 2x minus wx plus wr divided by 2 take 2 is lcm wx minus 2 wx plus wr divided by 2 moment will be equal to minus wx divided by 2 plus wl divided by 2 we got these two equation for the beam and these two equation will be valid from a distance l by 2 to the full length of the beam that is l until now we have find out the equations for the shear force and bending moment for a distance 0 to l by 2 and another two equation for a distance l by 2 to l By using these equation we will find out the shear force and bending moment diagram when a point load is applied on a simple supported beam. First of all we will calculate the shear force diagram for that we will use this equation shear force is equal to W divided by 2. So at any portion from a distance 0 to L by 2 the shear force is positive and that is W divided by 2. So it is a constant shear force from a distance 0 to L by 2. So all these forces are constant. So we will join it in a linear line W divided by 2. For a beam portion CB, we will use an equation of a shear force that is V is equal to minus W divided by 2. So we got minus W divided by 2 for this portion of beam, and that is a constant value until a point B. At point B, we have already a load that is applied W by 2 as upward. So minus W divided by 2 plus W divided by 2 at support B, we will got a zero shear force. That what we got a shear force diagram for a point load for a simple supported beam. Let's find out the bending moment diagram for a point load for that for a portion 0 to L by 2. Moment is equal to W divided by 2 into x. By putting the value of x is equal to 0, it will represent a moment at point A that will be equal to W divided by 2 into 0. The moment at point A is equal to 0. At point A, the moment at point A is equal to 0. Let's find out the moment at a midpoint that is L by 2 from the support A. So we have a moment equation that is W divided by 2 into x. by putting the value of x l by 2 in this equation a moment at point c that will represent a mid point that will be equal to w divided by 2 into l divided by 2 by simplification we will get the moment w l divided by 4 the maximum moment at a mid point is w l divided by 4 when a point load is applied on the uh, simple supported beam how we will join these two points we will look at to the equation of the bending moment that is a linear equation so we will join it by linear line let's find out the bending moment diagram for a portion cb for that we will use this equation by putting the values of x is equal to l if it will represent the full span of the beam in this equation we will get the moment at point b that will be equal to minus w divided by 2 into the value of x is l plus w l divided by 2 moment at b will be equal to minus w l divided by 2 plus w l divided by 2 that will be equal to 0 we got a zero moment at point b so again we will join these two points by a linear line that is a linear line so we got a bending moment diagram for a point load that is what we have calculated the bending moment diagram for a point load applied on a simple supported beam